word up the people. Okay, so so here we go into the depths, into the darkness to find our light, to reignite what uh, what it's really all about. And, and that's what we actually are doing is uh, remembering, reigniting what we need to do. And a lot of times, you know, uh, the things on the outside are going to be all fucked up to to help us, to help remind us of the things on the inside that we need to be focusing on. So, I mean, uh, this is just another representation for me of uh, getting more clear within. It's a reminder of uh, where I'm at, where a lot of people are at, where I know I want to be at, where I know I need to be at. Uh, wants and needs, people. This is part of the refinement here that, that we're cultivating is a refinement of what we truly want and what we truly need and melding those two things together and finding the homeostasis again. And that doesn't necessarily mean that we always just need to be one way, one path. Absolutely not. You have to have a full spectrum awareness. You have to go... Uh, you have to be willing to go into the depths, into areas where you think are fringe or uh, you have been led to believe is taboo or uh, forbidden. You, you have to decide and realize for yourself What is what? You have to learn and yearn to discern your own reality for yourself because no one's going to do it for you, but yet there, there are, uh, the, the system is set up to, to, for that very reason, to do it for you, to uh, trick you and encapsulate your mentality and thus your reality into a box into a program, into a loop program, and uh, we'll, we'll, we will get into very shortly with uh, this guy, it is uh, part of the loop program. Because, uh, yes, I did say that I would not watch <laughs> another one of this guy's videos. I was done with this guy. But, this guy, uh, it was posted on his channel, and I'm, I'm all about the, the genie. The Abadani, the Mayan, and uh, just just the very fact that this guy had had no knowledge, or at least he was playing dumb, which which I appreciate if that was the case. Uh, wanting to extrapolate, but at the same time, like you can just ask a fucking question, bro. It, when whenever you're in the presence of a real motherfucker, pay homage, like. Be real. Don't don't fucking play dumb, because that shit's gonna come out, and that's why. Uh, that's why. That's why this guy gets me fucking so. I mean, just just I'm done with it. I, I'm done with uh, that kind of mentality. Of uh, entertaining or engaging that, because it, it, there's no there's no use for for. Uh, to get caught up in other people's frustrations of not being able to discern reality for themselves. There's no need for us anymore to get caught up in other people's bullshit. And if they want to project that onto us, then 
so be it. But you need to learn how to hold up your sword, as in your word, but not just your word. The, the sword is beyond words. It's a direct focus to where you see what is happening. You don't need to engage a certain level, uh, maybe what that's being projected at you. You can slice your way through illusion and come back into clarity. So yeah, uh, before we start this, he was asking about uh, his quote-unquote handle. And I just, if, you're, if you're choosing to uh, use those words with someone who has put a lot of time and effort and uh, feeling. awareness into certain words and this and into a name and you just want to call it a handle that is disgraceful and yes uh, coming from like I have I have to kind of kind of take a step back because I have to I have to treat this guy as a child now uh, someone someone that doesn't know better even though he wants to come off as he does know better. And I don't know if I'm going to put this up or not. Because I don't I don't want to make another video of me bashing this fucking guy. But I mean this. At the same time like this. This isn't just bash. This is a uh, representation of. Uh, the micro and the macro. Of what's happening on, on so many levels. So like this is just. This is kind of like a diluted version of the ignorance that uh, is going on everywhere. And if you're choosing to play dumb, then uh, there's a time and place for that. And if you don't recognize the time and place, and you're just doing it to do it, then uh, you are the you are the one that has decided not to learn anything because you're not engaging. Um, on a certain level. So yes, if you don't know what Mayan Jin Abaddon, if you don't know what those three words mean, uh, you're you're not even on level one yet. And this is just stuff I've been repeating from my last time that I went off on this guy, because uh, I'm not gonna say <laughs> he he doesn't trigger me. He he. Uh, he makes me feel sad for for uh just he's just a perfect reflection of the state of the world and trying to wake up and stopping themselves from truly waking up because of their own mentality they think they are so learned and educated that uh you know, there are all these dumb people out here. Urchins, as he will call them. And what separates these urchins from, you know, learned people or enlightened people? Well, we're going to get into that. And uh, boundaries are important. Being able to learn how to set boundaries for your own awareness, so where you 
are willing to accept in and what you have cultivated and discerned to release is very important. But to draw lines and have this or that and make things separate that is only going to further your own separation of your healing pro progress and process. Which is uh, from day one, like all of the stuff I've seen from this guy has been uh, one of the main things. Is he wants to spew and spit venom out on the people that are ignorant of the way things uh, really are, because they're uh, they have been encapsulated and entrapped ensnared in a mind virus we, we we can't get so caught up in those that have fallen prey that we allow them to dictate or have any sway upon our own central point and once we do that then uh, we become more and more bitter, more and more hostile. And we lose focus on the monad, the central point, the eye of the hurricane. Okay, so I'll start this now. And I'll probably just skip around, because I, I don't, I... I'll listen to this guy all fucking day. I, I, I can't stand to listen to this guy because I just, I just want to make videos of how disillusioned he is every time I listen to him. Because even if I end up being one of the people that gets taken out, as long as I'm taking care of what I need to take care of, then, you know, I don't believe... Like, I know I'm going to die, but I don't believe in death like that. So wherever I'm headed is whatever I'm headed, like, whatever happens. What, and, but in the meantime, like, I'm going to get whatever is coming towards me. I'm going to have to deal with this I'm, or learn about this, analyze. There's just so many. I, there's a That's cool. I mean, <laughs> like I just said, listen to this guy fucking talk all day. This, this is the fucking genie, bro. If you don't know... Get on this fucking flow, yo. God damn. And I mean, we can go, we can go so far deeper into like why, uh, quote unquote, death is. Um, beyond even what it is, because that's that's. There's just layers of this shit, people. You have to have engagements with this stuff to even begin to. Um, entertain certain uh, mentalities and ideas. That's just how it works. Uh, like I say, um, like I have said, you can have you can have a conscious death experience. You can do this for yourself and decide for yourself what is what on all levels. But once you really tap into the death thing. Then that's going to open up a lot of other things for you. It's going to blow away a lot of barriers that you've had. That have been set up for you. That you've been taught to believe in. Because, uh... We know... That death is an illusion. But... There is death of the physical body. But... Why is that? And that's what... I'm going to go a little bit into uh, probably in further videos of why that is. Actually, no, that's been coming up a lot lately. So for me, uh, yeah, I'm going to go into that. Why that program has been set up. 
and that it wasn't that way in the beginning. But because of the mentality and the reality that we have created and co-created, we have caused the degradation to happen because of ignorance. It all it comes back down to ignorance. So much of it comes back down to ignoring what is happening inside of you. And because of this, we are confused about what's happening outside of us. We are confused about the things that are causing us pain or trouble or trauma. We have lost our senses. We have lost sense and thus have lost sight. of the true causalities and causations. And there's so much potential to me. So I'm gonna, even in death and craziness and chaos and all that, I'm gonna do everything. I'm looking at everything that I possibly can. And, um, well, I don't wanna get too deep into that and, or talk too much. So, uh -huh. so um, the, 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 the fundamental difference, I think, between uh, the urchins uh, in the street and uh, certain other people with an elevated consciousness is the intuition or some form of knowledge that they don't die uh, as finally as um, we've been led to believe. Now, if, if we... That's, that's a very minuscule part of it. The urchins in the street. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Those urchins are you. They're doing the best they can with the situations that they're being dealt with. With the mentality they have been encapsulated with. And believing. It's not just a death thing. It's a life thing. More, more than death, it's a life thing. Um, once you, once you get over the death thing, and this is someone talking from a lot of experience with the death thing, you start to realize it's a life thing. You start to realize the balance and the polarities. And the harmonies. It's a how much do I want to put myself out there thing. Once you realize the levels. And once you start to realize the levels, you start to realize the potentialities you start to realize the people that have been out here for a long fucking time that are running the show and if you want to start to come out and expose the codings of reality then you need to be prepared to guard yourself and not just guard yourself but Know what to do when the time is right. To get the fuck out of Dodge. When that time comes. Because otherwise. You will be suicided. Or what the fuck ever. Like it's just. It's how it is. Don't take my word for shit. Look into it for yourself. There's, there's so many fucking cases of this happening. Um. A lot of the higher level people, uh, you won't even fucking know about. Because uh, their names aren't out there. So you can be an urchin on the street and be of the highest fucking level. Because you choose to be out there seeing everything that you see. And disengaging from it. 
choosing to live a life of minimal need and wants. And uh, a lot of times the people that take away the things in their life that they no longer need are the ones that eventually gain the most wisdom. So don't go talking shit about people on the street until you've been there. And if you've been there and you're still talking shit about it, then you don't know, you don't understand the fucking reality of it. We uh, consider that we don't die, then we're not afraid of death and we don't take this thing so seriously. It's not the be all of it. It's not about being afraid of death, it's about being afraid of life, and if you don't take this thing so seriously, then... You shouldn't take the illusion so seriously, absolutely. And then once you're past that layer, you need to realize what you do need to take seriously, which is what you are creating in every moment, every breath, every thought, every single heartbeat, what you are creating with your felt emotion. Every heartbeat is sending out a reverberation in accordance with what you're feeling and you're going to have that responded in accordance back to you, reflected back to you. So this is the discernment that we have to cultivate with what we are doing to ourselves, what we are doing to the collective, cultivating an awareness, tapping back into a focus and a flow. The thing that we have to release is our uh, ag <laughs> our frustration and our pain. Uh, first, you know, you have to uh, go into the layers of the pain and the trauma before you can release them. Otherwise, they're just going to eat you alive. So yeah, let, let's let's skip around here so that uh, we may find a gem. understood that this shit had it well i understood that it had a time and place or whatever and these very things but then i started you started using like excuse me utilizing the shit a little bit here and here while i was going about fucking doing normal shit in society so it allowed me to see things in a different way and i know some people might judge me for that whatever um but it is what it is i don't necessarily know exactly what he's talking about there but I'm just going to say what he's talking about is utilizing certain tools of mentality and reality, certain tools that we have access to, to shift our perception, to change how we view things. Because once you change your mentality of how you view things, it's going to change everything. But then hey, it becomes dependent upon you what you want to cultivate how far you're willing to go what are you willing to do to get clear or just to go back into your comfort zone that you have been indoctrinated into with your education system to thinking a certain way Behaving a certain way. When it 
it comes to the psychedelics, though, thank you. That, that seemed kind of random. I don't know why I even brought that up. <laughs> For me, baby. Especially acid. I heard all uh, the stories. This is why I tell people: don't fucking listen to what anybody is doing with substance. Like exactly. people, people will do a substance and then they'll tell a story about what happened, and then all of a sudden, whoever's listening to it is like, yeah, and it can uh, play a part in your own experience. But we should all, we should always learn. From uh, people's experiences. And this is the discernment. Discern. Take the nuggets out. And leave, leave the shit behind. We, we take the piss. And we leave the shit. Uh, this is exactly what, what I knew he was talking about. Is uh, with, with the uh, certain engagements. Certain plant spirit medicines. I've already uh, talked plenty about those. How to engage. How to focus. What to bring back. What to cultivate. That these things are showing us things inside of us. That we need to focus on. And and bring awareness to. It's not about continuing to engage in a certain substance or a certain plant spirit medicine or a certain practice or a certain modality. It's about becoming a monad. Yoga, yoking, yogic, yog, yoking these things into one and in, into a holistic practice that is life. And be like, oh, well, this is what's gonna happen. It's like that's not what's gonna fucking happen unless you accept that as your mm-hmm. reality. Like, you're gonna, I'm like, fuck that. Because when I did acid, fucking everything I was told about, like based on what I heard from an early age, as far as like hallucinating and all this, and then fucking, um, and then the people that do it, or the the girl that gave it to me, somebody that I used to be involved with, you know. Fucking, she was telling me certain things, and then when I took it, it was completely different. And that's how it's gonna be if you really fucking about it. If you're able to, okay. And a lot of times, whenever you first start out with these things, you're not gonna know what to expect until you until you get down into the moment. It's the same thing with fighting. It's the same thing with training. It's the same thing with anything. With working out, with with a certain level of engagement, with extremes, you're not going to know until you get into it and engage it for yourself. Then you're going to be like, oh, this is what it's like for you, for me, specifically. So... You don't have to worry about uh, someone else's mentality shaping yours if you have a strong will. Don't worry about that shit. But uh, yeah, we out here recommending you engage plant spirit medicines. You engage things that challenge you. Um, such as Wim Hof. Do some crazy fucking breath work. Do some crazy fucking cold therapy. I have been doing cold therapy to the extent um, I've just breached uh, a layer, a barrier recently. um, A couple of days ago. And that reminded me very much of um, some trips that I've had. Because of uh, what happened. It dissociated my physical body back into my core. And I experienced a uh, clarity that happened. And it was such such a refined clarity. That it was like I was tripping. Or like I was uh, in a certain... I was able to access certain mentalities. That I was able to focus on my core. And I was able to use my mentality to uh, 
shapeshift and go into different states and modes at will. So uh, I'm out here repeating what Wim Hof talks about, which is the cold is our teacher. It is continuing, continuously teaching me to tap into uh, my deeper states inside and uh, to let go of certain things as well. Because once you get um, into the depths of the cold, uh, you, you try to feel your body like you usually do, and it's like there's nothing there. So you have to go through layers of like, oh shit, am I dead? Is this certain body part not functioning? What's going on? And you got to sky release into it. The cold will eventually make its way down through the layers of the skin, of the fascia, of the muscle tissue into the bone, into the marrow and once that happens you tap into uh, some deeper, deeper level gnosis and engagements So yeah, this is this is what I'm going through, and it's fucking fun. <laughs> well, once you come out of that, like you're so fucking enlivened. Uh, it's a reset, and each time I do it, it's a fucking reset, and I do it every fucking night. I do a little bit in the day, and then at night I fucking get it. And I uh, turn my body numb with it. And then I allow the uh, resonance to slowly seep back out into the outer extremities. So yeah, I mean, I've talked enough about Wim Hof so that I don't need to go into that. If you don't know who the fuck Wim Hof is... Uh, what the fuck you doing, dude? Anybody fucking told me. And that, honestly, to be to be real with you, that was the start of my fucking, my original, because I, this is my second YouTube channel that I have now. I had an original channel. That's when shit started going off the fucking rail. That's when I started running my mouth off the fucking, because all it did for me, all psychedelics have ever done for me, I, well, I won't count mushrooms. I did mushrooms in Hollywood. It was awful time. Um, and then every other drug, whatever. But, like, when it comes to LSD, like, all LSD has done for me is fucking just open me up. That's it. Like, it's nothing. And that's probably all I will uh, share of this. I'll, I will leave a link for it. <clears throat> Uh, it's okay there, a little bit better <laughs> but uh okay so I have done uh, my share of LSD to the point where you you kind of see beyond sight so you don't need to have eyes open to see everything around you that's the layer I've tapped into with that um I mean, if any of you want to talk to me about any kind of experiences, go for it. Because I've experienced most things. Most things. LSD, Lucy, and Sky with diamonds. I have utilized, and um, I will say that acid is something that you have to focus upon. You have to have a mentality with it, otherwise 
you're going to be along for the ride. And uh, it, it is a little bit more synthetic than uh, other plant spirit medicines. And that's why I don't prefer it over the fun guys. Which, depending upon the layers and the dosage, will open you up to certain realities. I recommend um, looking into Terence McKenna, hearing what he has to say about the mushrooms, and uh, just just engaging wherever you feel. Like you need to do go for it but the mushrooms will re-enliven your connective uh, huh, your connections your connection points in your brain and thus because your brain is your CPU once you empower your brain, once you can tap into a, controlling your blood flow, controlling your blood flow to the point where you can push it into your brain, and then that regulates all the other processes in your body. So the mushrooms help you, remind you of what you have access to. All these plant spirit medicines do is help remind you of what you need to do for you. A lot of the times you will be pushed into an experience where you need to learn and remember the traumas that have happened collectively. So realize that whenever you do these plant spirit medicines you are tapping into a collective. And whenever you do that you are not just tapping into the collective love and light, you are tapping into the collective Deception and corruption and darkness and pain that we have all been through and that you will feel. But don't succumb to this. Feel it. Integrate it. Listen to it. Listen to what you need to do. To get real again, to feel again, go out in nature, barefoot, bare skin, naked, and engage the quiet, engage the silence, sit, meditate, listen to the life around you, listen to the wind blowing in the between the leaves. Listen to the trees creaking, listen to all the animals, listen to the birds. Listen to the water if you're around any kind of stream or pond or ocean with the water flowing against the banks back and forth ebb and flow let it remind you of the rhythm that is within you okay I will pull this card now Good shite, good shite right there. Let's see how much we can read. Hmm. Six of cups. Sanctuary. 
golden daffodils sing of springtime as two companions take a stroll within the walls of an estate. One offers the other a piece of fruit. Six goblets stand among the remains of, of a picnic. One of them holds a small flame. <laughs> the Six of Cups symbolizes the loving sanctuary of familiar friends and places. In this place, in this safe haven, kindness and compassion flow freely and we can relax fully into who we really are. We can enjoy life's simple pleasures, sunshine on a spring day, good food, quiet time with a friend, just for now. Leave the worries of the world behind. Live fully in the present. Even a few moments of such deep ease can seep into and change your life. If you are not experiencing the joy promised in the Six of Cups, you might look to your memories for such a time, in fact. This is traditionally the card of nostalgia, looking back on happier days. But more than just longing for a perfect and ir irretrievable time, reminiscing can help you draw insight from the past to enrich the present I'm just going to stop writing there for a second and say that uh, that's what it's fucking all about is is learning from the things that we have been through, learning from our experiencing our experiences. Choosing to create a better now moment in every moment because of these things and we don't need to necessarily sit there and focus and focus and focus upon it um, w within this cultivation within this stillness that we spend time in we learn how to engage life so that every moment we we take from it What we need, not just what we want, what is needed, not just for us, but dissolving the layers and the barriers of what is us and what is them and what is all and realizing whenever we tap into this flow and we are truly alive. Forgotten dreams may resurface with renewed potential. Remember the innocence and simple joys of youth are always available within. So yeah, tap into the real within you. There are many ways to do this. There are many methods to help you. There are many aids. There are many little helpers out here to help you, help remind you what is within you. help you remember all the pieces that you have forgotten that you have been led to forgot to forget and led to believe 
that they do not exist in the first place. They exist and we exist. So feel us because we out you. And then we love you. Peace.